Hey, it's Scott again. Our reads are almost done. So I'm going to measure one and one eighth of an inch uh, from the very, basically I'm just resting my ruler on the, the top of the first wire and I'm going to mark it at one and one eighth. The mechanical pencil. If you have issues with your reed knife and you have a tendency to chip, you don't have to do this extreme close up, it's going to be gross. If you have issues with your reed knife and you have a tendency to chip the edge of the reed, um, leave a little bit more on and trim the, the reed um, after you've done your initial scraping. Um, but if you're awesome like me and you don't chip your reeds, or if you're reckless like me and don't chip enough reeds to change, um, just start out right away by cutting it at one and one eighth of an inch. So I just wanna let that soak for like a minute or so just so that the reed is, uh, you know, not not entirely dry. Because if it's dry and we put pressure on it with a blade, we're gonna we're gonna crack it. I didn't buy, you know, I, I do think that those nice guillotine style reed cutters are kind of nice. The ones that look like a plier or wire cutters, I think, are worthless. Instead, got me a razor blade from the emo chick down the hall, and. What I'm gonna do, I have like, this is like a doorknob, a wooden doorknob. Um, one thing that I like about this Burden brand mandrel holder is that because it's not round, it doesn't roll. So I can set it up flat. I'm gonna take my razor blade and I'm just going to sort of lay it on the reed first to make sure it looks completely straight. I'm gonna start at one side and I've cut the tip. You can uh, take your, some people like to leave the corners completely intact. I like to cut off just a tiny nib. I find it helps keep them from fraying. Boom, we got that. We fold our, our wires down. I like to fold the first wire back, the second wire forward. And now we have a finished reed blank. Let's all make bassoon reeds that do not suck or take all day. Let's all spend a fortune on expensive reed equipment. We don't really need to play and make our reeds sound nice. 